Well, good morning and uh, you know yesterday's low and high, basically the yesterday's range uh, was the same as day before. So the idea remains that uh, you have to buy the dips because election results etc for whatever they are worth uh, are again according to expectation and uh, the problem shorts have that they are not getting any sort of good news. So my sense would be that if we open somewhere near 29200 on bank nifty 11 uh, 575 580 on the nifty futures uh, you would like to buy into the market and uh, if we don't open closer to those levels then basically we are likely to chop around but uh, my sense is yesterday's lows if revisited uh, should be bought into well, there are certain stocks which continue to move lower. So, India Bulls housing is a sell with a stop of 211, target of 196. Z is a sell with a stop of 247, target of 232. HDFC has restarted its upside. So, that's a buy with a stop of 2100, target of 2220. SBI is emerging uh, out of a correction. That's a buy with a stop of 270, target of 285 and Voltas is a buy with a stop of 700, target of 725. As the stocks are more difficult to identify, it was easier for the, to say that the Nifty uh, should be a buying opportunity. But for whatever it's worth, there are two stocks that are now breaking out. They already have big run-ups, but uh, that's the, for the Nifty also. So the stocks are uh, <coughs> ICICI Prudential, which is now uh, on the verge of another breakout after the big run-up and Bada India, it's already at 1700, we've been talking about it from 600 onwards. And here again, it is breaking out on the upside. So there are two buying opportunities, both intraday and positional trades, two short sales also. The markets could give us, you know, some of the weak stocks could actually go down as the Nifty goes up. Union Bank and Hindalco, both are intraday shorts. So we've been advocating as much that uh, the only reason the market is taking possibly a breather and a range bound consolidation is because we were quite overbought with last week's entire uh, week, you know, the market has been advancing. Uh, it's respected the 11, 570, 565 mark broadly, testing it, even breaking it, but not having an hourly closing below it. So it just kind of goes 10 points below that and bounces back. So the lower end of the range is looking good. And on the upside, I think 11, 680, 11, 700 is an area where I would expect some supply to emerge. Once we start uh, getting past those levels, I think then we can look at another 100 points uh, uh, immediately happening on the upside with 11,800 being a gap level where the when the market is falling, there was a falling gap which could attract supply. So for the time being, buying on dips is the strategy to go with, but uh, uh, try to take some profits around 11,700, 680 zone and if that has been crossed, then wait and hold on to your long positions for another 100 points on the upside. I have three buys, Anuj, uh, Madhasan Sumi, that's a buy with a stop at 104.5 for targets of 114. NIT Tech, the indicator setup is positive. That's a buy as well. Keep a stop at 1454. Look for targets of 1495. And Tata Motors DVR, which is come down to support level after three days of pullback. So that's a buy with a stop at 58 for the first target of 63. And a sell on Pidlite, where uh, there's some negative uh, signals on the chart. So keep a, a, a stop at 1336. Try to sell it once it breaks the support of 1320 and look for targets of 1285.